Okay, so let's say um, I was going to do a review on the Law of Attraction. I think the Law of Attraction, you know, like the 12 Steps, the Big Book, uh, Course in Miracles, uh, the High Teachers, Non-Dual Teachers, they're at a very high vibration. Um, the Law of Attraction, I, shouldn't, I should be careful, I'm on camera. I've said so many videos, that's why I don't have many people following my videos, because I just piss everyone off. But, uh, which I don't really mind doing because I'm not really, at the moment, I'm not in it just to get the number of viewers in. Um, so, is, um, is the thing of, yeah, so I don't have a very, I mean, the, lo the law of attraction is useful, it depends what level of consciousness you're at. If you're new and you've done no spirituality, I think it's useful. If you're going into like enlightenment and non-duality, then to read something like if you've been doing A Course in Miracles for 20 years, to read like the Law of Attraction will, won't resonate because it's too low. You're going down too far. Like, uh, okay, let's spend... Um, anyway, I could give a whole talk on why I don't like the Law of Attraction, but I won't. Um, uh, Hawkins did say something really important on it. It's like, when you do something, what's your role? Yeah, what's your intention, what's your role? And people have asked him on a number of occasions, um, uh, there was a, uh, uh, what was it, it was something like a, an actress, an actress asked Hawkins, like she was going to, she was going to play something which was non-integrous, you know, uh, as part of her acting, and uh, wanted to know, like, if I, I don't know, if I play like, um, like an axe murderer on thing, and I can understand what she said, like you get into the psyche, of the thing, mm. like you go on stage, you're building up, like I'm going to chop everyone's head off from this stage or whatever it is, mm. you know, like, sh you know, like, oh my God, will that mean I go into that level of consciousness? Mm. And he said, well, you know, your role is to be a professional actor mm. there. And your role, because that's your role, that protects you while you're doing your role, you see. So if I'm like, if I've got an employer and my role is to be a professional actor and I'm doing an axe murderer scene uh, or a psychopath or whatever it is, you know, but because my, the role of being an actor is my, that would protect me because that's my role, you see. So I, I do it as an actor, professional actor. Now, I think that then that intention, so I think with a friend, I think you could do it as an intention of service. Uh, for that person and you hold that as your intention. You're not reading the book to try and get something out of it and resonate at its vibration. Because if I'm reading a book with the intention to get something from it, then I might pick up its vibration. Whereas if I'm doing something, I try and have the highest level of service. So the only reason I'm doing this book on how to, if I was reading a book on how to manifest the lottery or get a, get a Ferrari and all the techniques to manifest Ferraris and lottery wins, then I do it more like I'm doing this of service and I'm doing it for a friend um, out of love just to be helpful, but that's my only intention. So I'll read it with that frame uh, and, I, and that would protect me. Uh, so I think the overall, the underlying intention, so, um, yeah, I, and I, I'd be happy to do that. I mean, if it's going to help them a lot or whatever it is or be something, I'd probably be, um, probably just do it, I'd probably skim read it or something and just give them a quick review with the thing of, the intention being of service. I think when you read something, um, it depends what your motive and your intention I think like if you're working for a profession and they're asking you to do something, you do that professionally. Or I think one of the best roles is to have a, a service intention. I think the service intention protects you. I think um, uh, the, uh, so that would protect you from low vibrations or lower vibrations. Because I wouldn't want to read the Law of Attraction because I'm doing the Course in Miracles. So the Course in Miracles is like deflating ego mechanisms rather than uh, inflating ego mechanisms. Um, so that would piss off a lot of people, but there you go. And uh, you yeah, set the intention. I think if you do it as a service, like actors are fine. I think um, he did sort of say something, I remember this thing, this is on the other direction, like um, 
someone was working with things like rapists and, and whatever. And, uh, and, he's, I, and he, he sort of said like, um, yeah, he said like, it, when you're working with vibrations which are very, very low, um, uh, uh, I think his guidance was more along the lines of not to do it. But that's like seriously low. Like if you're dealing with people at five, then um, the thing with that is you can get hit with sort of very negative energies. If you're not able to handle that, uh, they can take you down. So that was something different. I don't know why I shared that. Uh, but I think, uh, I think, you know, law of attraction is not dangerous. I think just be, being of service, I just find it a bit, bit reluctant to do it.